The video will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video, please follow the link below. Also note that you can post anonymously. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3DGameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Nexus Value 430 Watt Quiet Power Supply. Now the box is nothing super special, but it does have some features and specifications about the product on it. It also comes with a handle. There's a security seal so you know it has never been opened before. And if you are buying this new and this seal is not there, or if it's cut, I would be very wary and contact the reseller and find out what exactly is going on possibly return it if you can they include a power cord four screws for mounting the power supply in the case and the power supply is in a bubble wrap bag the value 430 watt power supply might not have a lot of watts but it is super quiet as a matter of fact this is one of the quietest power supplies on the market excluding fanless power supplies of course we'll find out how quiet it is but first let's find out how wattage is determined to understand this you need to know what rails are rails are basically well regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail in this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 140 watts and the 12 volt is 396 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined now the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard memory pci cards and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives optical drives fans cpu video cards etc it's also important to know the peak amps on each rail well the plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt rails are 24 amps each and there's a single plus 12 volt rail and that's 33 amps now there are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply the first is wattage determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware that you would be installing now generally speaking a medium to high-end gaming rig and remember we are talking gaming rigs here would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply for a hardcore system, select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. The efficiency of this power supply is between 80 to 85%. And remember, high efficiency means lesser waste and thus less heat and a lower electricity bill third it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards environmental directives over voltage under voltage and other protections thankfully this power supply meets current standards fourth I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC APFC or active power factor correction assist the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load APFC basically reduces total harmonics it corrects input voltage and allows for full input voltage range Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design. If it does not have a modular design, make sure that at least the leads are sleeved because this will reduce the cable mess inside of the case and also increase airflow. As well, get a power supply with a great warranty and this power supply comes with a two year warranty. Now let's have a closer look at the power supply. It has a very plain look to it. I mean, this is a value power supply after all, so you're not going to expect it to have some kind of super duper glossy black paint finish, but it does have a super quiet 120 millimeter fan also a fan grill as well it is basically inaudible 15 decibels at idle inside of the case you are never ever going to hear this power supply the fan and the many honeycomb ventilation holes here ensures that the inside of the power supply remain cool in almost any environment and here's the power cord connection and the 
power switch. This power supply has plenty of sleeved leads for a product in this class and I wouldn't expect it to be modular although modular leads are brilliant because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup. It reduces the cable mess inside the case but also increases airflow in the case as well. Finally try to have a listen to the very quiet 120 millimeter fan. This is so quiet the microphone is probably not even going to pick it up but here goes. Sure, this is not some super duper high wattage power supply that you can brag to your friends about, but if you're in the market for a quiet, compact, affordable power supply that performs and comes with plenty of sleeve leads, this just might be the product for you. This would be a perfect power supply for a mini build for your home, office, a home theater PC setup, or even a mini gaming rig. Overall, this is a great product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.